CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 3.3. Given a scenario, select and install storage devices. RAID. At its core, RAID or Redundant Array of Independent Disks is a technology used to combine multiple hard drives into a single unit to improve data performance, reliability, or both. It operates by distributing or replicating data across these disks in a strategic manner, offering various configurations tailored to specific needs within IT infrastructures, ranging from personal computers to enterprise-level servers. Additionally, each of these RAID solutions, also referenced as RAID levels, will have its own unique approach to redundancy and performance. RAID 0, for instance, prioritizes speed while also maintaining a maximum storage capacity. In this setup, data is striped across two or more disks, where stripe refers to the method of dividing up and distributing data across multiple hard drives. Or to state this another way, each block of data is sequentially written to each disk in the array. RAID 0, however, does not offer redundancy. Worse, if one disk fails, all data is compromised. If you are following along with the image behind me, each blue cylindrical column represents a hard drive. Each letter, A through E, represents a block of data, and the numbers, 1 through 5, are used to represent the sequential order in which the divided parts of a block of data are written to the drive array. Our next RAID level, RAID 1, operates like a mirror. Data is duplicated or mirrored across two disks, ensuring that if one fails, the other retains all the data. While this type of RAID configuration offers redundancy, it doesn't enhance performance in the way RAID 0 does. Then there is RAID 5, which strikes a balance between RAID 0 and RAID 1. It employs striping, just like RAID 0, but introduces an element called parity. Parity provides a means to reconstruct data if a single disk in the array fails or becomes degraded. This RAID level offers a bit of both performance and redundancy, but does require a minimum of three drives to configure. Lastly, RAID 10, often referred to as RAID 1 plus 0, merges the striping technique of RAID 0 with the mirroring capabilities of RAID 1. This combination allows RAID 10 to deliver both fast performance and data redundancy. You will, however, need a minimum of four drives for this type of configuration. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.